If you are working or running a business, you have to set aside time and money to invest in your continued formal education and skills acquisition. Seeing the business side is being business minded. You can train yourself to be business minded. There are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. You can only find opportunities if you are looking for them. You have to be very methodical in breaking down the reason why something is successful. Most often, it is not as simple as it looks. As you set about your enterprise, you must always consider the consequences of your actions. Don't just rush headlong into doing something hoping it will work out just the way you want it. There are many people who have caused suffering to themselves or to their families simply because they took on an opponent who was bigger and better resourced or better skilled than themselves without proper planning. The moment I see a problem, I immediately begin to think about the opportunities that can be created by trying to solve it. God will do nothing except when you pray, and you have to be very clear what you want. No matter what business you are in, no matter how small or mundane the activities, there must be continuous investment in it. Whether you are a farmer, builder, or engineer, the opportunities are equal. Just add a little innovation. Keeping proper written records is key to your success. Keep the records safe and always keep copies. A vision on its own is not enough. Hard work and dedication is required to make that vision a reality. Attitude is altitude. If you have a bad attitude, even if you are way up there, you will come crashing down. And if you are trying to take off, a bad attitude will keep you on the ground, revving your engines but going nowhere. The three most important skills in business are to read, count, and sell. My favorite business book is the Bible. If you study the Bible with a view to extracting principles on how to set up and manage a business effectively, you'll be absolutely amazed. It has everything. If you're going to be a successful entrepreneur, you will likely have disputes at one time or the other. The best lawyers are those who say, let's try and talk to them. As far as I am concerned, a business that does not innovate is not really a business. America produces more oil than Nigeria and Saudi Arabia, but they export very little of it because entrepreneurs use it in products like this iPad and your iPhone. Come to think of it, if you are on internet right now, using something like Facebook, we have probably enabled it. The leaders who need the most advice don't need or value advice and advices and rarely ask for it. You should so value advice that you are prepared to get it and above all to pay anything for it. You don't have to be a famous celebrity like Beyonce and Jay-Z to make a difference. You can use your own talents and skills every day right where you are to help fellow global citizens defeat poverty. I used to win debates, but not people. Now my lesson is to lose debates and win people. It works even in marriage. You can still be a successful entrepreneur even if you are not the originator of the idea, if you are able to adopt and adapt something successfully for your own market. 
Every time I start something, there is always someone who tries to convince me that they thought about it first. As entrepreneurs, we fight in the conditions and not the conditions. Raising capital is in itself entrepreneurship. I want you to get to a place in your understanding where you can buy shares as easily as buying a packet of sugar in a shop. A modern business must be an innovation machine. The only thing that steals an idea is procrastination and incompetence. In Africa, we do not have enough of anything, so we must use whatever we have as effectively as possible. There is no entrepreneur who does not have a website. You must be prepared to start small and build yourself up, sometimes doing things that are beneath your qualifications. The wealth of the world's richest people is mostly measured through shares in a publicly listed company and not in cash or property. A football match is 90 minutes. If you spend 90 minutes in a week watching business and company news, what do you think would happen? Choose passions that will prosper you. Fortunately, no one is born an entrepreneur. You can be trained. Entrepreneurship is a mindset. It is virtually impossible to tackle unemployment if we cannot reimagine rural. The next generation of great African entrepreneurs will not only be greater and richer than anyone before them, but many of them will be women. Every teacher at every level must be issued a tablet computer as a standard job tool. Every school must have free Wi-Fi. Exposure to other cultures and countries will make you successful.